皆さんこんにちは。今日も一緒に漢字を練習していきましょう。今日は四つの漢字を勉強します。Hello everyone. Today we're gonna learn four kanjis. Okay, the first one. This is a king. King. Okay. One and two here. Okay. Then three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Okay. Eight strokes. The meaning is gold, money, or metal. And the bushu is kane, which means, as I mentioned, metal or gold. Kun yomi is kane, which literally means money. So, o kane. Here, right? O kane. You can say kane if you add o, which is one of the honorific prefixes. It sounds more polite. Okay? Such as o cha, o sake. Okay? So, o kane, money. Okay? Then, on yomi is kin. Kin, Chinese reading is kin. So, kin yobi. This one, right? Kin yobi. Friday and Kinzoku. So the second kanji is a little bit difficult, so you don't have to learn now, but at the latest age, you should learn this. So the point is this one, Kinzoku. So Kin is onyomi, Chinese reading, which means metal. Okay, let's go to the next kanji. Okay, it's very simple. One. And then from top to down, two, okay, and then three. Okay, this is so simple. And the meaning is soil and earth. Actually, I've already explained this kanji in one of my previous videos. Do you remember? So the radical is tsuchi, so earth itself. And the kun yomi is tsuchi, which means, as I explained, soil. Then on yomi, Chinese reading is do. So, doyobi, doyobi. Okay? The next kanji. Okay, it's super overwhelming, right? So, left side is pretty easy. Just same as day, right? He. One, two, the point is this is the second stroke, right? Two, okay? This is the second stroke. And then three, four. So far, so good. Bushu, radical is this one, right? Day or sun. Then this one, you can write literally two katakana yo. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, same. One, two, three. Okay? Then this part is a little bit difficult. Okay. One and two. Okay. Then here's three. Three. Four. Okay. Then five from top to down. Five. And then six, seven, eight. So all together, 18 strokes. Kind of long. Okay. We don't have kunyomi. We have only onyomi, which is yo. This appears here. Day. Day. So the meaning of this kanji is day of the week, day of the week. So getsuyobi, so Monday, right? Nichiyobi is Sunday, okay? Basically, we can see this kanji only in expressing day of the week, like getsuyobi, nichiyobi, like that, okay? The last one. Okay. The last one, one, two. Okay, this is nimben, nimben. So nimben is this part, i, right? It's like a katakana i, right? So this part is called nimben radical, right? Nimben. So I'm gonna write here. Nimben is the name of radical, this radical. Nimben. Okay, which means human. Human. It's like a hito, right? Hito. Same as hito. Then one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Six, 
and seven. Okay, seven. So this one is brush stroke. Okay, brush stroke, upward brush stroke. Okay, seven strokes. The meaning is what? So if you want to ask what day is it today, which is in Japanese, kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? Kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? So I said nan yobi, right? Nan yobi. So this is actually here, kun yomi is nan. Also nani, but depend on the combination of other countries. In this case, you cannot say nani yobi. Instead, we say nan yobi. Nan yobi. Again, kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? Means what day is it today? Okay? And then nani ka. So nani ka is something. You can say nan ka instead of nani ka, but nan ka sounds more casual. Okay, so if you like to be polite, you can say nani ka. For example, do you want something to eat? Nani ka tabemasu ka? Nani ka tabemasu ka? Okay. Okay, as usual, I'm going to put a link of this kanji sheet 7 on my description. So if you want to practice, you can download it and practice a lot. This time, I want you to repeat after me every kanji. The first one, okane. Next one, kinyobi. Next one, kinzoku. Next one, tsuchi. Doyobi. Next one, getsuyobi. Nichiyobi. The last one, nanika. Nanyobi. Okay? Did you pronounce well? それではまた次回お会いしましょう。小賀チャンネルでした。失礼します。またね。